the track and pretty the pose for the seventh race. Bucket, three-year-old Philly Trot, sponsored by Lebanon Trotting Club, second division, $60,620. These are the horses, number one, Quiet Charm. Patricia Davis, Cedarville, Ohio. Chip Noble trains and drives the one, Quiet Charm. Number two, Satori Hanover. Sterling Brook Farms of Shelnville, Massachusetts. Jim Arley's Jr. Train. Del S. Miller drives at two. Satori Hanover. Number three, Keystone Secret. Alistair Stables Incorporated of New Jersey. J. Pisciano trains. Ron Pierce, the driver of the three. Keystone Secret. Number four, Taddy strikes again. Burnett Zimmerman to Deerfield, Illinois. Virgil Morgan Jr. trained. Brett Miller hobble trot of the four. Taddy strikes again. Number five, Ms. Taylor. Dean and Diane Miller of Archibald, Ohio. Barbara Lewis trains. Russell Swartz drives at five, Ms. Taylor. Number six, self-indulgent. Ready Racing Stable, Lindy Racing Stable, New Jersey and Connecticut. Jim Tactor trains. David Miller, the six, self-indulgent. Number seven, Lady Sierra K. Robert Key of Leechburg, Pennsylvania. Charlie Norris trains. Mike Watt of the seven, Lady Sierra K. Number eight, Gil Dunn. Joseph Rocco of Brexville, Ohio. Harold Egan trains. Dave Pallone drives the eight, Gil Dunn. Number nine, Bremisel. James Jask of Lemont, Illinois. Selden Ledford trains. Eric Ledford drives the nine, Bremisel. Quiet Charm, Satori Hanover, Keystone Secret, Taddy Strikes Again, Ms. Taylor, Self-Indulgent, Lady Sierra K, Gildon, Ramasol, the trailer. Here they come for the bucket. Two off and to running, Ms. Taylor goes for the lead along with Keystone Secret into the turn. Quiet charm on the inside, off stride goes Ms. Taylor. Racing to the back side, Ron Pierce, Keystone Secret have the lead. Quiet charm, racing second. On the move on the outside, self-indulgent David Miller. Now third, now second and charging on the outside. Bramasol gets away fourth from the second tier. Racing fifth, Satori Hanover sixth is Gildon. Racing seventh into the turn, Lady Sierra K. Eighth is Ms. Taylor and trailing the field. Taddy strikes again following the break. Opening quarter in 29 seconds. On to the 3 8 mark on top of the field. It's self indulgent. Keystone Secret right there, second. Quiet Charm racing third. Coming to the halfway point. Bramasol trots fourth, racing fifth. Satori Hanover off stride, Gildon. On the inside, Lady Sierra K. Halfway home at 58 and 1, 29 and 1, second quarter. To the back side they go with Self Indulgent and David Miller showing the way. Keystone Secret racing second. Quiet Charm trots third. Here comes Bramasol and Eric Lenford on the move on the outside. Now fourth, now third. Moving up on the leaders. Going to the three quarter mark. It's Self Indulgent, the leader. Bramasol trotting the storm on the outside. Second, three quarters, one, 27 and four, 29 and three, third quarter. But that's self indulgent and David Miller in command. Bramaso second, racing third, Keystone Secret, fourth is Quiet Charm. On the outside, Satori Hanover, fifth, off stride, self indulgent. And up on the outside, Bramaso and Eric Ledford drawing away. Keystone Secret, second, one. 56 and 3. Ledford back to the uh, winner's circle here at Delaware. Defeated at the Delaware County Fair. Winner is a 2. Winner is a 3 year old. In the Bucket, second division. Number 9, Bramasol. James Jask of Lamont, Illinois. Selden Ledford trains. Eric Ledford getting his third winning drive of the day. Bramasol. 156 and 3. Final half 58 and 2. Final quarter 28 and 4. Keith Nixon of uh, the Lebanon Trotting Club, son of Corwin Nixon, making the trophy presentation to Eric Ledford. And 
I'm sure they know each other because uh, Eric started his career, if I'm not mistaken, at Lebanon. I'm joining me now, the winning driver, Eric Ledford. Eric, first of all, congratulations to you winning with Bramasol. When the draw came out and you had the trailer position, concerned? Uh, absolutely. I, I don't like trailers in any race, let alone a, a paid-in stake event. I, I think it, uh, it's, it's could be one of the worst things that happens to stake races is trailers. So pretty much put you in a first over situation when you made your move and you're challenging the favorite and uh, all of a sudden you get a little bit of a breather. Were you were you confident before Miller's horse went off stride that you were going to get her? Yeah, she was real strong. Uh, actually dropping back in on David's back uh, almost cost me the race because uh, I almost clipped his wheel uh, before I got her back out of there. Now tell me just a little bit about Bramasol. I mean, she's a fabulous filly. Only five starts at uh, three, and I noticed two starts before this race, but you did give her some time off. What happened in that case? Just a little breather to get ready for more stakes, or? Yeah, she she had the World Trot Derby coming up, and she had tied up a bit, and uh, we, we decided not to go there to, to race two heats uh, because she is plagued with a little bit of a tie-up problem. Uh, so we just opt to qualify and come here. Well, I heard you have a state-of-the-art farm out in, uh, I'm not even quite sure, but the state of Illinois. And uh, does that help her? Do you have, like, swimming pools or equisizers that you may use for her? Yeah, she actually, she, she does do a lot of swimming, uh, and she do, uses a sand track quite a bit. All right, and I understand you just told me you drove back here from Chicago tonight? Yeah, I got here around 6 o'clock this morning. We drove all night tonight. Little tired. You were pretty sharp out in the track. Ah, she was sharp. She carried me around there. She made up for my uh, my imperfections. <laughs> all right. Congratulations, Eric, and all the connections to Bramasol.